everybody! Uh, it's Abby, and I'm making another video. Surprise! <laughs> um, so I wanted to talk about human beings. Because there are human beings that actually live out in the universe, not just on our planet Earth, but actually on other planets. I've been in human-type um, forms on other planets. Um, and so uh, I think that human beings don't don't relate to that or don't think that um, and when they think of aliens they don't think of human beings <laughs> and um, so human beings actually actually have um, really extraordinary um, variations um, I don't I don't know um, okay so okay let me just see what spirit world I'm gonna I'm gonna ask for help on this one okay so I um, I want to talk about a past lifetime where I was a human being and I and I lived on a planet much like earth so there's green um, trees and green plants and you know this the ground is the color that the ground is here is earth color and um, you know there's water there's waterfalls and um, and we all we are all very human looking and um, so okay so uh, uh, you all know, I don't know what the deal is I'm like I guess I'm like trying to come into the the story <laughs> sometimes it takes me a couple minutes to get balanced I guess hmm okay. It's just too much information. <sighs> so, okay. So I had this strange experience this morning. And I saw what was, um, this has nothing to do with human beings. This has everything to do with praying mantis beings. Because we're switching the topic now, apparently. <laughs> but um, this praying mantis man, um, I made a video about him. A um, couple of videos. I'm not able to talk today. There's something else going on here. It's too much. All right, what do you what do you need me to talk about? <sighs> so I'm human. I look human. I don't look like an insect, is what they say. I am not. I am not of an insect form in this lifetime, but I have been in other lifetimes. I have been of an insect form. Have you? Can you imagine? Me being a, a giant insect, is what they say, <clears throat> and so they're basically telling me they're not allowing me to be human at all. <laughs> this has nothing to do with human beings in the universe anymore. This has everything to do with whatever it is that they're insisting I talk about that now. Okay, all right. So we'll just see where this goes. Ugh. It's frustrating. <laughs> Alright, so, insects, alright, okay, <clears throat> praying mantis, mm -hmm. it, so, um, they're telling me, say, um, do you, okay, queen, queen praying mantis is what they call me, queen praying mantis, um, and they, um, sort of chirp their wings or make a sound, um, in accordance to me, um, <laughs> I, they say I'm very much so aligned with what is an insectoid, and um, I actually do love and care about um, the praying mantis being that I um, have interacted with, and he is like um, a dear friend to me, and I, I do not find his appearance disturbing at all. In fact, I quite love his appearance. Um, I think it is a very sacred form, is, is the truth about that. They say human beings um, do not uh, relate to alien beings as insects, and they find it quite disturbing, a disturbing idea. Um, these versions of praying mantis beings um, are, they say praying mantis is an expression of love, and, um, and beauty, and balance, and harmony. And human beings do not relate to that um, idea. That that needs to be a very loud and echoing um, sort of uh, message that I make about them. That they are be beautiful expressions, um, loving expressions in the universe. So imagine, imagine spaceships coming here, right? And um, uh, and they're filled with giant insect people. Now, how would you feel if those insect people um, came to our planet? 
you would feel terrified, you would feel concerned, you would feel fear, you would run away in terror, you would not, um, and, and all armies on the entire globe would come to annihilate these beautiful, loving, kind beings. They're doing, they're saying this, um, because human beings want aliens to come here. Do you know what aliens exist in the universe is what, um, they say. Do you know what aliens would love to come here and um, hold your hand and um, love you and heal you? Do you know what they look like? They don't look like you, is what the very loud voice. They do not look like you. Um, they look like um, uh, many, many forms, and some of those forms are, um, are un fathomable um, because we've never seen them. We don't, we don't relate to that. And um, it's, it, it is imperative that I um, bring about um, an expansion of awareness that alien forms are of various kinds and um, loving alien beings that would come to um, help you, heal you, love you, take care of you, do not look like you. Um, I say we are... Um, <laughs> We are in. We are of an insect breed. Um, so we. So we remind you of your insects on your planet. So it's. Um, you squash your bugs. <laughs> you you kill your insects. Now your insects are larger than you, and now you are terrified. That is the, what they say say love um, exists in all forms and expressions that um, are different um, of many kinds keep saying this um, there's a rainbow of love that um, beams upon our planet every day this is so hardcore like praying mantis um, really needs this to come um, into awareness like this is so so loud um, this, energy and sound is so loud and um, it is the sound that they emit to our planet it is joy and love and healing and relief for human beings it, giant insect people sh emit um, vibrations of sound and love and healing and rainbows to planet earth to heal human beings and human beings um, if they were to um, experience such a being um, would be terrified you see and so human beings want to know when aliens are going to come here. Are human beings ready for aliens to come here? Do you think that human beings are ready to see a giant insect? That, that's um, what the question is. So you, you have to contemplate these things. Um, so, uh, I need to show you the picture that I made. So let me just put this on pause for a minute because I don't have it sitting here with me. back. So this is Praying Mantis Man. And um, he, this is his expression of love. This is what he looks like. He lives in the light. And he shares love from in, from in the light. He's safe. These are wings that he, that, um, he, I, he doesn't always show the wings, but um, the wings are what a tool for sharing lo loving vibrations and sounds that are reflections of what um, is the sound of laughter and the sound of love and the sound of joy are these wings when they flap them and then um, this part of his mouth is um, like hands I may I talked about this in the other video but um, these are what are like hands um, to caress um, in love the face of another. So they they kiss and then they caress fa the face is what he shows me, that they are loving, kind, um, he is very loving. He said, I am of this form too. <clears throat> I do not look this way in this in right now. I not, this is not my appearance on this planet. Um, a as the speaker, I am human, I am, I am like everyone else here. And my soul is very much so um, a, a connection um, and in love with that form and expression in the universe because it is very much so um, a reflection of my soul, of me, of my, um, of what I align with, which is love. 
and that is that is the voice I speak is the voice of love. Um, so, uh, what else? <clears throat> Let me see if there's anything else. Um, he is, so where he lives is um, very beautiful, very green, very um, healthy landscape, very natural landscape. He is so sad. Um, uh, the feeling is like really sad um, that we live, um, that our planet is so um, dirty. <laughs> Literally, um, we we live in like what is a toilet covered in shit. <laughs> that like that is the only way I can describe the reflection. This is actually the we agree to. We are happy to drink polluted water and breathe polluted air. What is what is that the equivalent of? That we are happy to swim in a pool of shit is basically the only way to. Try. Um, he, he is not describing it that way at all, but I don't know how else to, to, to translate the way that he has sorrow, um, and for our planet, um, and the way that we, we find, try to find balance and harmony with an earth that we have, um, just, um, defiled is really the only way. So he is not using these words with me. I'm choosing to use these words myself as the only means to try to do, translate the sorrow he has. And so don't um, think. So his his voice is extremely loving um, at every every turn. <laughs> um, so he so he his planet is um, very green, uh, very natural and healing um, t for a human being to stand there you would feel all of the um, vibrations you don't know you don't sense or experience how um, how the earth cannot heal you in the way the earth could heal you if it was in a pristine natural form and um, we try to heal ourselves with medicine when that if we just heal the earth the earth is just breathing the clean air alone is the medicine that heals drinking the pure water alone is the medicine that heals you don't need medicine what you need to do is heal the earth, is what he's saying. Um, so, so loving. Um, he sees earth, he sees human beings, and he loves human beings. We are not of the same form, but he is not um, terrified or disturbed, or he finds human beings to be so beautiful and a blessing of creation. Um, he, we are not bugs to him, and he would not squash us. That's <laughs> what he says. Um, he wants so badly to see human beings um, see the earth. Um, heal and touch and love the earth. And um, see the plants growing from earth um, as they grow on his planet. And, and purity and cleanliness and freedom um, to be of their expression, just like he is. Um, for the insects to be of their expression, for human beings to be of their most natural expression. This isn't, this is not hard stuff. He's, he's showing me how easy this is, and yet we are like flies, like bugs to light when we gravitate towards like political, um, you know, uh, caucuses. And, and he's showing me what is, um, this governmental systems and uh, voting for politics. We are gravitating to the light that destroys us. Instead of saying, you know what, I, I care about Mother Earth. I vote for Mother Earth. I actually vote for Mother Earth because I love Mother Earth and Mother Earth loves me and I can count on her and trust her every single time. She does not ask me for money. She does not ask me for her votes. She does not ask me for anything. She gives me apples. She gives me food. She gives me healing. She gives me love and nourishment. And nobody wants to vote for Mother Earth. <laughs> That is literally what he's saying. Um, I vote. Um, I vote for Mother Earth is what he says. Um, human beings need to love our planet. Um, and when we love our planet, then we start to make connections with each other in more meaningful and loving ways than we are doing currently right now. This is this guy. This guy. This is this guy. He's very tall, insect-looking being, you know? Very loving, very kind, and loving being. Um, shares um, healing with us. Um, shares this green. Says green um, is a healing color, and green heals all, is, 
it says green heals. Um, or plants are green for a reason. Plants are a reflection of healing. Earth is a reflection of healing when it is thriving with green um, plants. He says even to see. Whoops. Oh. There we go. Even to see green um, plants growing all over the place, just to, just visually seeing the visual image of green even heals our bodies. We don't even have to interact with it. Just seeing green is healing. As seeing colors in their vibrant state is healing. Seeing yellow, seeing blue, seeing stars, seeing um, water, seeing all um, plants, seeing flowers. And all the colors, and all the shapes, and all the um, different kinds is healing. He says we have to heal Earth. He want he's he is here for us. He is here for us. He is not harming us. He's so here for us. Um, and he uh, literally, um, you actually, you viewer can actually talk to him. This sounds so weird, but um. He loves to receive love, and He gives love in return, just like Mother Earth. And love that is shared with Him is love He returns to you. He wants to heal you. He says he is not, it is not safe for Him to come to our planet to heal human beings. So He can heal you from afar. He says you can ask Him for healing, and He will heal you. And you will know. You will actually feel Him healing you. This is huge. This is paramount that I share this. Said so this was more. This was the most important thing, and I that I could have shared today was choosing to share a message of love from him. Um, he says that I'm very into expanding the awareness, and there's no better way of expanding awareness than to showcase that an insect being loves human beings and wants to help human beings, wants to come to our planet and help us heal, wants to help our planet heal wants to actually be here with us, holding us, um, taking care of us, healing us, and healing Earth. His messages are so super loving, like, he says this is so easy to do. <laughs> He's showing me the entire globe, and it's like, bam, fixed like that. All you have to do is love the Earth, and then, and then, love, will allow that love to help you embrace each other, and trust each other. And the healing the Earth heals you, heals human beings in a way that allows human beings to love and connect and trust each other again. Because right now, human beings don't trust each other. Um, and we keep gravitating towards the old way, which is um, government, politics, and what is fear-based society. And he says, um, you need a love-based society. We are, the, we are masters of a love-based society. We know where love comes from. It comes from healing your planet. It comes from natural um, plants and natural water and natural clean air and um, a natural um, form and healing the body, healing the earth. So that is where a love-based society comes from, is balance and harmony with all things, with everything, even in the universe, even with beings that are um, different than you. So, okay, so I'm just going to share this video, um, and I, uh, yeah, <laughs> so that's all, that's all I'm going to share for today. So I hope you like it. I didn't know I was going to share a message, um, an alien message, but I did, I have indicated that I am choosing to share more messages from alien beings, and it seems that, um, they aren't going to let me get away with not doing that now. <laughs> So, more alien voices and messages of love to come, okay? Um, I thank you for watching. <laughs>